And we are back. 50 questions Mormons can't answer. Answered. And we're going into lovely, lovely night right now with uh, Evie in the uh, Nighthawk outfit. So let's move on to our view as we ask the deep, meaningful questions. Or at least this particular deep, meaningful question. Question number 39. So... Why did Bruce R. McConkie write that a man may commit a sin so grievous that it will place him beyond the atoning blood of Christ? Mormon Doctrine, 1979, page 93. When the Bible says that the blood of Christ cleanses us from all sin. Um, so l let me... Hmm, where to start with this? Let's start with Mormon Doctrine. Um, Mormon Doctrine is a bit like uh, the Journal of Discourses from Brigham Young. Essentially, while it does contain many points of doctrine, it is also the opinion of Bruce R. McConkie, who was an apostle in the church. Um, so, it's it should be approached in the same way as being, you know, this man's personal opinion, even though he is knows a lot about the scriptures and knows a lot about what he writes. So, um, to let let's take a look at first. Jo let's see, First John 1 7 which says but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have the fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanseth, cleanseth us from all sin so this this is one of those uh, debatable points and it's pretty much the exact same question uh, that we had quite a while ago which spoke of a murderer actually being forgiven um, and I think to a certain I extent, it, it is correct. There, I think there are times when our sins will, will put us past the point of being of repentance. And I don't think it's necessarily because the sins themselves are so grievous. But I think it's because, you know, people reach a point where they just sin and they keep on sinning and keep on sinning and they don't repent for whatever reason. It doesn't mean they can't repent or they can't be atoned, but they, they've they reached a point in their sinning where they don't believe they need repentance. They don't believe they've done anything wrong or anything worthy of repentance, so they continue on their way in their sins and they never repent, and that uh, puts them beyond the atoning blood of Christ. They cannot be atoned. You can't be atoned... You can't receive repentance for your... You, if you don't repent for your sins, you can't be forgiven for your sins if you don't go through that process. If, uh, you know, I, I know what I'm trying to say in my mind. I'm hoping it, it, it comes out okay. Sometimes my brain works a little too quickly and my mouth doesn't work quickly enough. Anyway, that, that's my personal belief, that there, there are times there are people who, who reach a point where they don't repent of their sins, not because their sins are so grievous, but because they just don't believe that they they should repent. They don't believe you know, they may have been taught in the ways of Christ and in repentance, but they, they believe they know best and they know better, and so they just live in their sins and they don't take advantage of Christ's Christ's sacrifice for us and they don't repent of their sins, they don't make amends, they don't try to be better people they just wallow in their own sin and yeah I believe that that they are beyond the atoning blood of Christ not because Christ isn't willing to forgive them or to offer his hand and bring them out of their sin but because they don't reach out they don't try to repent they don't try to be a better person and I think more than anything else I think that should be the takeaway of this that it's that we can repent and that but it's ultimately up to us if we do repent or not and I I, I think that's the takeaway there uh, beyond that if there's an actual sin that that we can't repent of ever you know I I do not know. I do not know how accurate that statement is. But I do know that oftentimes 
we aren't forgiven of sins simply because we won't go through the process of repentance and we won't try to be better than we are. We won't try to become better people and we just live in sin from that point on. So, yeah. So this conversation got dark <laughs> quickly again. Uh, sometimes that just happens. You know, we're dealing with a lot of heavy topics and yep. That's how it goes sometimes. Anyway, takeaway, I think is probably the same as the last question's takeaway. You know, come unto Christ. Repent of your sins. Be better than you are. Uh, so anyway, that's that's the answer. Let me know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe if you liked it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.